Hi YouTube, this is Black American Indian and I am coming to you in regards to um, a true story. Um, the, the lady's name is Sandra Lanning from South Africa and I just came across this movie this week and it came out in 2009. Um, her story pretty much is that her both of her parents are white and uh, she came out looking like she was mixed with black blood. Um, in South Africa, they use the term colored as far as a category of people that are mixed with um, uh, black African and uh, whatever else. But, you know, typically it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a white population. So like the British, Portuguese, the French, the Dutch, um, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I was very surprised. Now I've heard about um, how some kids take after an ancestor. Um, you know, maybe two, three generations back. But this white couple knew nothing about their black blood. Now I'm not surprised because um, it's a stigma for some people and in some societies you know black is like a death sentence for them <laughs> and they would rather live in a white America, I mean, not white America, I'm thinking about America right now, <laughs> but the white society because life is easier and, um, and there's more opportunities being white. But, um, yeah, I mean, I know I, I read about the story about the two black African non-mixed couple who had two other kids and they just happened to have a child that pretty much was white, phenotype, hair, skin, white. <laughs> no big nose, no kinky hair, you know, the typical traits of, uh, you know, most, uh, uh, Sub-Saharan Africans without any mixture. Um, but yeah, the Sandra uh, Lang, her last name is L-A-I-N-G. Uh, this was a very, very interesting story. Um, she was uh, classified as colored as far as her race <clears throat> at one point. And then her parents fought for her identification to be changed to white because they were white. And in their uh, appearance, they look white. You know, th there was no almost kind of sort of passing for white. No, they look like white, regular people. Um, but there was some black blood somewhere in, the, in their um, genealogy. So they eventually had her categorized as white. But, you know, of course, people were like, really? <laughs> Whatever. And they had a rule or a law that passed um, <clears throat> that pretty much said that if your parents if your parents are white, then that means your children are white. Um, I know in the states there was um, some um, misidentification in families where you had kids that had the same parents. One child was labeled something else, be it white. The other child labeled black. Same parents. I mean, how ridiculous is that? I mean, even in my family, my father comes from a family of 14. And you have the whitest of the white <laughs> and the darkest of the dark. And they all have the same parents. So, <clears throat> of course, there were, were uh, children, especially my uncle, who is the darkest out of all of them. Um, he must have He must have had a, a throwback uh, uh, DNA because he was darker than my grandparents, his own parents. He was darker than them. Um, and I'm assuming that maybe that was his grandfather, um, his maternal grandfather, because he was very dark skinned. Um, but the point is, this happens a lot um, as far as uh, kids with the same parents being identified differently than their siblings. Um, but as far as this story in South Africa, I know they are very color stroke as well. <laughs> um, and this story is very intriguing. I advise all of my listeners, all of my viewers out there to check out this movie. Um, I think it was on Showtime. Um, 
a few days ago and I watched the last last half of the movie um, again yesterday which was Saturday so it's in a it's in a it's in a cycle as far as the viewing uh, the, I mean the showing is in a cycle you can catch it on Showtime um, and maybe you know if you have on demand maybe you can uh, uh, see if you can pull it up and watch it without paying extra for rent um, you can check out iTunes I'm assuming it's on iTunes where you can rent it um, but yeah, I watched it on Showtime the other day and I pretty much boohoo cried, <laughs> sobbing, crying with uh, what this woman had to go through. Um, I don't want to tell the storyline or whatever in the outcome of the movie. I want you to go ahead and check it out. But the point in the movie was that she came out looking like she was mixed. She looked like a typical mix with black uh, individual that... Uh, that's from South Africa because I know they have that category of people from um, that region of, of uh, the continent of Africa. So, um, yeah, check it out. You can probably see a trailer on YouTube or you can go to the website and look at the trailer. It, it's very, it's very good. And um, the point of my video is DNA, when you have a mixed ancestry and... Um, most of us know that no one is pure per se, but if you have an ancestry where, where uh, the generations before you are, are pretty much close to yours, like maybe first or second generations back, or maybe even third generation, um, it's very, very possible to have a throwback DNA um, appearance with your offspring. Um, I have a friend that her mother um, is, mm, I wouldn't say light skinned, but she's definitely lighter than um, my friend's father. And they had four children. Two of them, the, the oldest one and the youngest one, uh, were very fair in color, fair skin. And then my friend and her brother, which is um, um, uh, maybe two years behind her in in, in age. Uh, they both were kind of like on, I wouldn't say dark skin, more like my complexion, brown skin. Um, and then my friend, the one I'm, I'm speaking about, she has a daughter by um, a guy that's a tad bit darker than her. And the child come out looking fair skin. <laughs> I mean, light skin. Summertime, her skin is light, okay, with the tan. So that gives you an idea of what happens with um, genetics and how our appearances can uh, look different from our siblings. And even with this Sandra lady, she had uh, an older brother who came out looking very typically white, phenotyped, just like a white person. And her and her youngest brother came out looking like they were mixed. And so... Um, yeah, a lot of that goes on in, in families, believe it or not. I mean, I know some celebrities have mixed children and the kids come out looking like a monoracial person. But, um, yeah, it happens in, in, in regular people's lives as well. Um, you just don't see a lot of it. Um, and you may assume that, you know, the kids may have different parents. You know, that's kind of typical, unfortunately with having kids out of wedlock and children having, you know, half sisters and brothers. But when you come from a family that does have a mixed ancestry and you have all these kids and they all have the same father and mother and yet you have a range of phenotypes and a range of color, um, even hair textures as well. Um, like my uncle who is very, very dark skinned out of all of his siblings, he has the straightest hair. You would think this guy was from Southeast Asia. And I'm not even kidding. I mean, he could he could pass for being an Indian from India with bone straight hair. And then um, one of my aunts, she's very fair skinned and she has very kinky hair. And uh, I mean, it's just, it's just a range of hair texture skin complexion, even features. Some of my 
um, aunts have uh, kind of wide noses or, you know, long, elongated noses, and some have very narrow noses. Um, most of them have thin lips. Um, maybe a little, maybe a little smaller, more narrower than my lips. But, um, yeah. So it just depends, you know. I mean, I don't even know how my kids are going to come out looking. <laughs> Um, cause my mother is lighter than me. My father and I, we pretty much have the same complexion. We have like a red, uh, undertone. Um, but yeah, my older sister is lighter than me. My brother is lighter than me. My, my youngest, my younger sister is lighter than me. However, my, my younger sister and I have different fathers. So, you know, that's another story, but at the end of the day, my siblings that share the same parents with me, both parents, they their complexions are lighter than me. I'm kind of like the black sheep, if you want to call it that. Um, but I don't even know how my kids are going to come out. Um, I have a friend that um, that has um, kids by a uh, biracial guy. His mother is from Africa. Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, and his father is white British, and my friend is apparently not mixed. She's Indian, so, and I mean East Indian, I'm not talking about indigenous American, no, no relation to this continent, but um, her kids come out lighter than her. She's a, my friend, she's a maybe a shade lighter than me and her husband is mm, kind of yellowish in tone features or whatever uh, skin color um, and the kids come out both looking very fair skin like light like white almost and the hair is straight but the father's hair is very kinky, afro-ish looking, okay? But the kid's hair came out bone straight. Now, one thing about typical black kids with a mixture or whatever, or even not even a, a, a close uh, generational mixture, maybe they had some way three generations, four generations back that was a different race than black. But the point is that hair texture is gonna change from the day they were born up until their first birthday. Whatever that hair texture is when they turn one years old, that's pretty much the hair texture, you know. And it, I mean, over the years, some people's hair color changes. Uh, some people may have um, more of a bounce or curl and pattern in the hair later on in life. But you get my gif. You get my, my point. That when that child turns one years old, that's pretty much the hair texture that child's going to have. And a lot of uh, black kids, they start out having the soft, straight hair because that's the way babies are born when they first are born. But by at least the six months of life, their hair is going to change and it's going to be, you know, kinkier or whatever. And that's just the way it is. But these kids are already at least one year old, <laughs> bone straight, maybe kind of like a bouncy curl, but not a curl pattern that is going to get stuck in a comb. So that's all I really have to say about this movie. Um, me taking a DNA test, I am uh, again shocked by the results and just knowing how I came out. I mean, I had a lot of admixture in my DNA and I came out looking this way. Um, and so the Sandra lady, um, she was classified as colored, then white, and then she reclassified herself later on in life as colored because her kids were considered colored because their father was a black man. And so it would have been against the law and they would have took her kids from her if she was considered technically white because it was against the law to mix races back then. But anyway, let me know what you think, YouTube. Talk to you later. Bye-bye and blessings.